everyone, me again. Welcome back to Exomedia X. So today we're going to be talking about pregnancy tests, in particular how they differ in sensitivity and why that's important, especially if you're planning on testing early. But for those of you who are new, hi, my name's Amelia. We film all kinds of videos on this channel, everything from everyday life vlogs to this special series that focuses on hormones, fertility, periods, uh, body chats, and also now pregnancy. So if you find this video interesting, if you like my face, feel free to click that subscribe button and stick around for a while. Okay, so when we started trying to conceive, I very quickly figured out that not all pregnancy tests are made the same. Not only do we have our analog tests where you need to read the window for a cross or an extra line or something, but we also have digital tests that give you a straight up pregnant or not pregnant answer. However, all of these tests actually also come with another difference and that is how sensitive they are, AKA how soon they can tell you if you're pregnant or not. So all at home pregnancy tests are a wee on a stick or a, a dip a stick into your urine kind of test that tests for the pregnancy hormone HCG. When you get pregnant, your body starts producing HCG, which is when we can start testing for it at home. But some of these tests require more HCG in your system than others to trigger a positive result. Now, a lot of the guidance out there suggests that it's best to wait until after after your missed period to start testing with a pregnancy test at home but if you are trying to conceive and you've been monitoring your cycle and tracking everything it's really really difficult to go that distance and wait for the full two weeks or however long it takes for your period to arrive after ovulation and people might want to test a little bit early so sometimes you can get a positive result on a sensitive pregnancy test at about 10 days past ovulation we personally got a faint positive result at 11 days post ovulation um, so it is possible but you just have to make sure that you're using the right sensitivity of test because you could actually end up getting a false negative result aka a test that tells you you're not pregnant even though you are but that's just because you haven't got enough hcg in your system to trigger a positive result on that particular test does that make sense? The sensitivity of pregnancy tests is measured in milli international units per milliliter. So that is a number MIU. Essentially, the smaller that number is, the more sensitive the pregnancy test is. So you would need less HCG in your system to trigger a positive result with that test. Now, often they don't actually tell you the sensitivity of these tests on the outside of the box. It normally comes with the information leaflet that's on the inside, but they're always plastic wrapped. So you can't actually get hold of that until you buy them. So this is where Google comes in. It's your best friend. And because you can often find online the exact sensitivity of the particular brand you're looking for. So I'm going to rank a couple of tests that we use during our journey um, and show you where they fall on the sensitivity chart. The most sensitive test that I found, I don't actually have any of them now because I used them all, that was the one that we got our very first positive test on, um, are the first response early result tests. They're the pink ones that can detect, I think, up to about six days before your missed period, and their sensitivity is between six and seven MIU, which is really quite low. We found them really easy to use, and they are the ones that we got our very faint <laughs> positive test on at about 11 days post ovulation. And if you wanna find out how to track your ovulation, by the way, I've got a whole video on that, so um, if you click the link in the info bar down below, you'll be able to find out all that information. The next ones I found were the clear blue digital ultra early tests. And these ones are about 10 MIU in comparison to the six from the first response. So not as sensitive, but still very, very sensitive. And then also the easy at home pregnancy tests, the little dip tests that come as a set with the ovulation ones, they're actually 10 MIU as well. So they are actually really sensitive considering they're so cheap. And then with your regular supermarket brands, they tend to be around 25 MIU sensitivity as standard. Of course, each brand differs. So make sure you do your research on that, but you can really see how 
how much of a difference in sensitivity there is between something like the first response at six versus the bog standard ones that you might find in Tesco's around 25. I feel like it goes without saying, but make sure you just fact check these things depending on when you're watching these videos because these things can change, I suppose, at any point. Um, and I'm just kind of going off what I learned about six months ago when we were using these. But yeah, a standard, a lot of the non-early testing ones are around 25 MIU, which is a big difference. And of course, these are just a few different brands that I've tried. There are so many on the market. There might be others that are available in your part of the world as well. Um, it's just really important to try and find that sensitivity to make sure that you're testing at the right time to give yourself the best chance and accurate result. We personally use the first response early result uh, where we got our very first positive result uh, and then the next day we were so excited uh, we went out and bought the digital ones as well to confirm it I guess so you could see it in black and white and then because I already had these as part of my ovulation test packet I started to use the easy at home ones so I could just watch the progression of the lines getting darker every day because that really gave me personally um uh, peace of mind, I guess, that we were going in the right direction, especially because uh, we fell pregnant after having a previous loss. So that's also really great that you can do that with these tests because they are on the cheaper side. Because the thing is with the early response ones, they can be quite expensive, especially the digital ones as well. So again, factor that in when you're deciding which ones to get. But overall, for both ovulation and pregnancy, these tests are a bit of a winner. I will leave a link to them down below. You can get them on Amazon and they're great. But it is always really, really important to take your pregnancy tests as per the pack instructions because they will all vary slightly with how long you need to wait before you read them and exactly how you do them. So that is actually really, really important, especially reading within the correct window because sometimes if you leave a pregnancy test and read it after the the correct window it may show a positive result just because things have evaporated and it's taken a bit longer so always make sure you follow the pack instructions and use your first urine of the day for the best chance at an accurate result but if you can of course wait until your period is officially late so like the day after you expect your period uh, that gives you the best chance at getting the most accurate result but I know it's very difficult. <laughs> That's enough rambling from me today. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do give it a giant thumbs up because that helps other people to find it and consider subscribing if you'd like to watch any more videos like this or any of my other videos. Come and follow me on Instagram as well. I'm at xameliarx, we would love to have you. And yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.